Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be showing with you guys how I made these galaxy cake pops. So if you guys want to get started, what you will need is some light colored cake mix, a muffin tin or two, cupcake cups, <laughs> I don't know, is that what they're called? White melting chocolate, white frosting, food coloring. You're also going to need some lollipop sticks. And it's optional to use either sprinkles or edible glitter. Whatever you want. If you just want to keep them white on the outside, that's good too. So let's start with the cake mix. Now you can definitely make your own cake mix from scratch or get your mom to make it or your auntie to make it, you know. Or you could just buy one because I'm a lazy biatch. There are so many cake mixes to choose from. I would just recommend either a yellow or a white cake mix so that the colors can show up. So whatever method you're using, prepare your cake mix. Grab three bowls. I'm not gonna dirty another bowl, so I'm just gonna use the one that the cake mix is already in. And evenly disperse it as best as possible. Time for some food coloring. I am using blue, pink, and purple. If you do not have those colors, you can mix colors to make them. I feel like that's really galaxy-like. For the first bowl of cake mix, I'm gonna do the blue. So you just give or take, add a little, and then mix it up. If it's good, then perfect. Leave it and move on to the next. The pink looked good, but I did end up darkening it a little bit after. And the purple here, I kind of had a little bit of trouble with. It was way too light, and I think it was because I used neon colors. If I just got regular food coloring, I feel like this would be a deeper galaxy, but it still looks cute. It's more like a pastel galaxy. So I also added some blue, and it still was a little bit light, but you know what? It's cute. So these are the colors that I am left with. Honestly, if you have any blue, purple, and pink, it doesn't even matter. It'll still look galaxy-like and you can just roll with it. Grab your muffin tin and line it with those little cups. And then I'm just gonna fill these. Some I'm doing halfway full, some I'm doing not so halfway full, over full. I don't know, I'm bad with like measuring and stuff. I really don't measure things. <laughs> And then follow the baking directions on either your recipe or the box. Once they are done, they are super cute. Now I love the blue. I definitely should have darkened up the purple and the pink, but they're still super, super cute and it will work. So now this might seem really fun and you want to get all in it, but trust me, wait till they cool down before touching them. You do not want to burn your hands. So go have some Starbucks, sit down, chill out, watch a hockey game, and then come back. I literally waited five minutes. So once they are cooled enough to handle that you do not burn yourself, that's key, you want to remove them and just simply crumble the cupcakes into a bowl. Now I realized that that bowl was way too small, so I needed a big bowl. And then you don't want to use the more brownie kind of crispy bits. It does not really work for the cake pops. So all I'm doing is gently scraping off the cake and not putting in those brown crusty bits, but they're super good. So you can go ahead and eat them separately. And I loved how this blue turned out super cute. So you just want to keep crumbling them up until you have cake crumbs like that. It's very, very easy. Now the purple turned out like kind of a gray purple, but that's okay. We just kind of crumble it all. And this is what we are left with when we have all of our cake crumbles. That's a super cute username just saying cake crumbles. Yes, girl. Now select your frosting. I chose just a store-bought frosting. You can make your own. If you're lactose intolerant, you could grab ones without milk or anything. Anything to suit your guys' needs, whatever you want. So all you want to do is take a spoonful into each of the cake crumble mixture. <laughs> now you guys, it's much easier if you put too little in rather than too much in. Because if you put too little in, you can always just add more. If you put too much frosting in, you have to add more cake. So that's a whole other process. So just add a little bit. See how the consistency is? You basically just want to be able to form a ball and not have it all crumble in your hands. Take a cookie sheet and line it with some tin foil or parchment paper, and then you want to do the fun part. So I just grab a little bit of the purple, a little bit of the blue, and a little bit of the pink, and then I kind of mush it all together. At the starting, I would only kind of just put them in and mush it a bit, and then roll it into a ball. And then when I started getting the hang of it, I mushed them together a lot and like crumbled them all in my hands so it would swirl and create a galaxy effect. 
and that's basically all you want to do. You don't have to, you know, add a precise amount of purple. You could do a little bit of purple, a whole bunch of pink, and a little bit of blue. It really doesn't matter as long as you got all the three colors in there. This is definitely foolproof. I guarantee it to you. It's really easy to do and super versatile, quick, kid-friendly. Just make sure you are washing your hands when you are dealing with food, you know, hi. Once you have them all completed, we're just gonna pop these in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes, just until they set up and get a little bit firm. So after about 10 minutes, I'm going to work on the chocolate, and this is just white melting chocolate. You could definitely use chocolate chips, but I way prefer melting chocolate because it doesn't get hard quickly. I just microwave mine for 20 second intervals and stir it in between, and that's it. Take your lollipop sticks and dunk it in the chocolate just so it almost like forms a glue and then put it right through the cake pop. Super easy and then give it a bath because we all like baths of chocolate, yes. But if you put way too much chocolate on, just make sure you are taking off the excess, like kind of dipping it away. <laughs> and now you wanna get your decorations ready. So I have some edible pearl dust that kind of looks like a galaxy. You could use edible glitter or sprinkles or whatever you have. I'm gonna sprinkle on some of that pearl dust. And I found that it's easier if you take another popsicle stick and use that to remove the excess chocolate that's dripping off. And please don't be going in your crap drawer and just dumping glitter on these and eating them. You have to make sure it's edible glitter, okay? So you can put these down on a cookie sheet if you want and then throw them in the fridge so that the chocolate can harden. If you have a cake pop stand, you can use that. Or if you just have a piece of styrofoam laying around, that works as well. The cake pop stand is my favorite just because it's kind of meant for it. But honestly, there are so many different methods. You don't need to go out and buy something specific for this. You can just use things like that are laying around the house. And I was contemplating whether or not to put this on my cooking channel or this channel, but I really like this idea. So I just want to throw it on here for you cuties. Yes. I just stuck these in the fridge for about 10 minutes and they get hard pretty quick. The tops of them go a little bit flat, so if you don't like that, then you can try the stand-up method, which I didn't put in the fridge and they just harden on their own. Either way is perfectly fine. And here is the inside of them. I absolutely love them. I think they worked perfectly. Like I said, it's more of like a pastel galaxy, but hey, it's beautiful. Loved these so much. You can also use these as party favors or gifts. People love getting food and cookies and snacks as gifts, so yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more DIYs, let me know, and I hope you guys have a beautiful, colorful galaxy day. Love you, bye!